Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can insert images into a LaTeX document. So as you can see, I'm already logged into our, I already opened my LaTeX editor here, TextWorks, and I'm going to start by, of course, declaring my document class. So I do the forward slash document class, and we're just gonna use an article. Next, I need to load several packages here. So the first one I'm going to, to load is um, uh, use package. I'm going to load what, the Babel package, but I need to put the optional argument of English because that's the language I want to use. We're doing this to make dummy text, by the way. We're going to use a little bit of dummy text in this one. And also use package. I'm going to use the blind text. That's what I'm going to use there. And now I need to add the special package of the day. Let's see here. So forward slash use package. And that is the graphics package. But I need to put in the, the, the option argument of demo because I'm going to use one of its own images. I'm not going to, to load one of my own images, but use the one from the package. And then graphics. Graphics like so graphics all right so we're all set up now I'm going to begin my actual document here and end it okay so we're all set up so what we need to do now is I want to show you how to just load the, the um, image without any kind of documentation or text or anything like that now this is not a complete example because normally when you try to load an image it's going to come from your computer and so you have to set something in the preamble called the graphics path we're not going to do this in this video we're going to use the demo picture that comes with the graphics package but if you want to load your own images you have to uh, include the graphics path command in your preamble in order to do so so first, we're just going to just load the picture and see what it looks like. Keep it simple here for now. So include, include graphics. All right. And then we're just going to put in here the optional stuff with equals te uh, text with. And then we're going to just type test here. And let's see if this works. All right, so this is our demo picture right here. You can see it's just a black picture, not the most beautiful um, thing that they could have put in here, but this is what it looks like. Now, there are several things happening. First, you use the, the command include graphics, and then here inside the bracket, we put an optional argument, the width. How wide should the picture be? So you can see here that we set it to text width. In other words, the picture should be as wide as the text is on the page. That's what we're doing here. And then inside the curly braces, we put the name of the actual image, which for us is test. And again, this comes directly from the package. We're not taking anything from the actual computer per se. All right, now, another thing I want to mention about the, uh, the brackets here is you can change this to do many different things. So right now, the width is, you know, the, the width of the text. You can also use scale to give you an idea of, you know, how big you want it to be. So it could be scale equals to 0 0.5 as an example, so 50% of the page. So now you can see that the picture is much smaller. And there's other options like angle and whatever and things like that. So we're going to set the width equal to the text width. That's what we're going to keep it for, for right now. Okay, now I want to show you how this works when you have text. So I'm just going to type in a little bit of dummy text here using the blind text command. And show you what it looks like now. And so you can see the text kind of goes around the image like this. Not the most beautiful thing, but you know, this is what it looks like. Um, not that complicated. If you want to add a caption to it, you have to use an environment. And so we the environment we're going to make is a figure environment. So we're going to wrap our include graphics thing inside a figure environment, like so. And you can see right here, we're almost done with this. And then, of course, you have to use the caption um, command to give it an actual name. 
So example image is what we're going to call this. All right, so we run this now. We run this now. Okay, there's a problem here. Oh, I forgot to put the curly brace here. All right. There we go. All right, so now you can see that it automatically put the picture to the top. That's what happened. So let me just explain what we did because we had a little bit of a technical problem there. We used the uh, begin figure right here starting in line 7. And we put the end right here in line 10. In line 9, we put the name of the actual figure. And then here is the pathway for the making the figure. And you can see right there that we clearly have our example here. Example image. Figure 1. LaTeX automatically puts this information right here for you, the figure 1 part, which is very useful. If you ever update and move things around, it will automatically change the numbering of the figures. It saves a lot of time. And we have the name of the figure like so. And again, like I said before, you can change the scaling if you want the scale to, you know, go 0 0.5, and then it'll look slightly different now. And so now you can see that the figure is kind of off to the side. Now, if you really want to be technical, you can fix that by centering, and then now it'll look nice and beautiful again. You can see how it moved. And so that's beautiful. One last thing that I would like to show you is how to wrap a figure. Um, and that's something that you see like in magazines where these, the stuff kind of moves around um, and the, 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 the wording goes around the text. Um, it's uh, very, very useful and very, very practical. And this really helps in displaying information uh, very, very properly. So let me show you how to do that. So we no longer need the uh, wrap figure, but instead what we need now is we need to add another package here. So we're going to add the package called wrap fig. We need that. And we no longer need a figure, we need wrap figure. That's what we need. And we have to put a little arguments in here. So in the second curly brace, we put an L, which is telling LaTeX we want to wrap the figure on the left-hand side of the page. And then we have to put, okay, how big do you want the wrap to be? So 4.4 centimeters is going to be our example here. Now, for the width of the picture, we have to set the width of the picture to the same as what we put in the options for the wrap figure. So the width is going to equal 4.4 centimeters, like so. That's what we're going to do there. And then the caption stays the same. And then for the end, we have to put wrap fig at the end. Wrap figure, excuse me. So it looks like we're just about set up. Let's see if this works. All right. And so you can see here that the text is clearly wrapped around the text, which is just another cool feature that we can use here. So in this particular video today, we looked at how to create uh, or, or how to insert an image inside to a LaTeX document. Um, a very, very practical tool that you can use in many different ways, whether you use the figure environment or the wrap figure environment, whatever you want. But it's just another option for you as you try to display things you know, in your text. So we thank you for listening, and we hope to see you in the videos in the future. Take care.